Hello, this is Mike. Um, I wanted to bring you a little uh, tutorial today about how to set up virtual machines and run them on your Chromebook without going and putting it into like developer mode or doing anything weird like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings and you're going to find the Linux beta section and you're just going to turn that on. Um, I already turned mine on. Um, you probably want to set it up with a, you know, at least uh, a certain amount of uh, space. So I gave mine uh, like a hundred and some odd gigs to use as far as uh, being able to run Linux programs and stuff. And once you've done that, um, if you want to start running virtual machines, you need to install uh, the, the Quim uh, KVM uh, stuff. So right here, this is going to be below the video. You can just copy this command and it'll install the stuff you need. But basically you copy that and you open up your uh, Linux terminal. So you would go into Linux apps and you would go to terminal and you would just run this uh, set of commands. And, um, you know, as soon as they were all installed, you're good to go. Um, and once they were installed, uh, all those packages that you need, you can open up the Virtual Machine Manager, which, uh, you know, it'll show up in the menu there. And the first thing you have to do is you have to go and... Uh, by default, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect that and uh, delete that real quick. Okay, so by default, it's gonna show up like this, and you're not gonna actually have a connection to the um, the, the the service which is running on this computer, um, and that's because it can't really run the service, right? So we're gonna do add connection, right? And right here, it's telling us that it wants to connect to the uh, the hypervisor, whatever it is. And we want to tell it to use the user session one. So this is going to keep it in the user session rather than, um, you know, something else there, I think. And uh, you hit connect. And now you can actually start and uh, uh, hold on a second here. There we are. Okay. Yeah, we're connected. Um, so now we can go and uh, set up a virtual machine. So in this particular case, maybe I want to set up a Windows virtual machine. I would just go and select, uh, you know, that I want to install something off of an ISO. Uh, let me just browse and find my Windows 10 ISO. Um, it's going to ask me how much memory I want and my CPU cores. Um, how big I want my virtual hard drive to be. So just going to set that um, and just going to hit finish. And once this is done, it's going to start me up a virtual machine, which is running on my Chromebook without any little weird hacky uh, things to get around to try to get it set up. And as you can see here, we have the, uh, the Windows uh, installer starting up here and I'll be able to install Windows 10 and run it as a virtual machine here on my Chromebook. I will make a note, I am running a Pixelbook, um, the, the Chrome Pixelbook, and it's the, uh, the I, I don't know what version it is, but it's the, uh, it's the sleeker one which can fold back on itself, so it's like a full, it can go into tablet mode and all that, so I, I definitely like that computer. And um, just being able to run other virtual machines on it, um, like what can be done now, is really nice without having to do any hacky workarounds or anything like that. Okay, well, that's it. Thank you.